Welcome to Arbitrage with Currency Bid As Codes. This tutorial explains how to read currency bid and ask codes and calculate arbitrage possibilities with a million US dollars or a million euros. Let's discuss bid ask rates with two examples. In the first example, we have Bank A that provides a code of $1.2895 per euro and $1.2900 per euro. This means the bid rate is $1.2895 per euro and the ask rate is $1.2900 per euro. The bid rate is the price at which the bank is willing to buy the base currency or the currency in the denominator. In this example, Bank A is willing to buy Euro and pay $1.2895. The ask is the price at which the bank is willing to sell the base currency or the currency in the denominator. In this example, Bank A is willing to sell a Euro for $1.2900. In the second example, Bank A codes 77.77 yen per dollar and 77.85 yen per dollar. Here the bid price is 77.77 yen per dollar, which means the bank is willing to buy a dollar and pay 77.77 yen for it. The ask price is 77.85 yen. This means Bank A is willing to sell the dollar, which is the base currency, for 77.85 yen. Before we calculate arbitrage possibilities, let's review our strategy to make arbitrage profit when we have $1 million to work with. We can first choose to go to Bank A to sell dollars and buy euros. Our next step would be to go to Bank B to sell euros and buy dollars back. As an alternative, we can first choose to go to Bank B to sell dollars and buy euros. Our next step then would be to go to Bank A to sell euros and buy dollars back. If we start with euros instead of dollars, we can again choose to go to Bank A first, this time to sell euros and buy dollars. We would then sell dollars to Bank B and buy euros back. As an alternative, we can first choose to go to Bank B to sell euros and buy dollars. Our next step then would be to sell dollars to Bank A and buy euros. Now that we've outlined our strategy, let's look at calculations. When we sell $1 million to Bank A, the bank is selling euros to us at the ask price. So we receive 775,193.80 euros. When we sell this euro amount to bank B, the bank is buying euros at the bid rate and we receive 999,224.81 dollars. Since we wind up with fewer than $1 million, this strategy is not profitable. If we first approach Bank B with a $1 million, Bank B will sell us euros at the ask price and we receive 775, 314,000 euros. We then sell this euro amount to Bank A at the bid rate and receive nine hundred and ninety nine thousand seven sixty seven point forty one dollars again there is no arbitrage profit what if we started with one million euros and went to bank a first the bank buys euros at the bid price and we receive one million two hundred and eighty nine thousand and five hundred dollars we then sell the dollar amount to bank b since the bank is selling euros, it'll convert the dollars at ask rate, so we wind up with 
767.41 euros. Again, no luck with arbitrage profit. The final part of the strategy is to approach bank B first with 1 million euros. Since the bank is buying euros, we get the bid rate and $1,289,000. We now sell dollars to bank A. Since the bank is selling us euros, the conversion will take place at the ASP rate and we receive $999,224.81. Again, no arbitrage profit. In summary, the bid is the rate at which the bank buys the base currency and ask is the rate at which the bank sells the base currency. After some practice, it becomes obvious to many if there is arbitrage opportunity by just looking at the quotes without doing calculations. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful.